Friday, June 22nd, 1230 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at some unusual energy that was detected on a seismograph at Yellowstone Lake about 24 hours ago. Fairly large signature shows up on a seismo. And let me try to show you the closest thing I can find to a large earthquake that may have been the culprit, but I don't think it was. There was a 6.1 yesterday about 24 hours ago at 21.13 Universal Time, way down here at Vanuatu. 6.1, fairly shallow for the area. I mean, I've seen earthquakes down here two, 300 miles deep. So comparatively speaking, it's kind of shallow, but it was around 16 miles deep. Right next door are the Solomon Islands. The Solomon Islands just had a quake of 5.4 magnitude within the hour. So there's been a little bit of activity down here. But as of right now, that 6.1 is the biggest game in town. If you look at the seismographs from the last 24 hours, you will see some activity in that time frame. I'm just going to click on this one here. This is Barbados, just to give you an example. From 20 to 23, 40, 45, between 3 and 4 hours, you can see some activity was detected in Barbados at the seismograph. It's like that all over the Earth at every seismograph, at least at this hub. You'll see some of the signatures are much bigger than others. Some of the uh, seismos close to the 6.1. Here's Australia for an example. See the big spike? That's the 6.1. But then it slowly fades away and just kind of rumbles after that. You don't see anything much bigger than the 6.1. There are some other patterns that are kind of, uh, you know, at this point, an enigma, I guess. But let's continue on. I want to get to the, the ones up in the United States. You can see there was even activity during that time frame over in Germany, which is normally pretty quiet. There's another place on here that's normally very quiet, and that's up in Norway. It's kind of unusual. Finland, of all places. I never see much activity like that, especially up in Finland. That's very unusual. Let me take you to Yellowstone Lake. See the other signatures around the world? They're not near as big as the one you saw right near the epicenter of the 6.1. And keep in mind, 6.1 is a significant quake, but it's not that big. Look at South Dakota. In fact, there's multiple sources, it looks like. Antarctica even detected the 6.1. New Zealand. There's the 6.1 in New Zealand. Big spike, then it fades off, right? Let's get to Yellowstone Lake, and you'll see what I mean. Show you some other examples real quick. This is Michigan. See the different pulses of energy? That's kind of what it reminds me of. It's even over in Ohio, Texas, Idaho, Minnesota, New York, Virginia, Oregon, Montana, Alabama. And then we're going to go on down to, look, even in Nevada. Minnesota. That's pretty good size for Minnesota. Look at Idaho. Again, pretty good size for Idaho. Wait till you see Yellowstone Lake. Look at Yellowstone Lake right there. It's the biggest one of all. Look at that. And it lasts for a good 40 minutes. That's a big signature. Yellowstone Lake. It's difficult to tell exactly what time that started, but there was some activity felt at Yellowstone Lake yesterday, almost 24 hours ago, because right now we're in the 1900 hour with regard to universal time. So I wanted to do this video real quick before this scrolled off, but you can see yesterday, about 24 hours ago, that is a significant signature from Yellowstone Lake. I don't think a 6.1 over 6,000 miles away could have done that to that seismo. I really and truly don't. But right now, that's the biggest game in town, a 6.1, over 6,200 miles away. So what it was at this point, I don't know, guys. That something was felt around the world in that four-hour time frame yesterday evening. But it seems like it showed up the strongest at Yellowstone Lake. All right, guys, that's all I got for now. Just wanted to share that with you before it scrolled off the graphs. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there, guys.